Hello YouTube, this is Crossfly. Welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna look at a game which I created. Uh, it took me about two days to create it. Actually, it's just the default terrain with normal material on it. So, I did nothing uh, visually to look better. So, all I did was uh, use a font custom font and I use this model which uh, is a free free resources pack for weapons I'll, I'll give the link in the description actually this is there are three cameras in the game view you can see so this one is for the missile actually this is the player and you have to actually i'll just show you the instructions so that you can okay these are the uh you know like rules that uh the game lies on there are green waypoints which are for nitros and you have to take that or else the missile will hit you because it travels faster than a player and there are red waypoints for flares and flares are very important because you cannot dodge missiles in this game you have to go through red waypoints and press X to release flares and then the missiles get destroyed I'll show you a simple demonstration Okay, wait a second. I have some errors. I'll be right back. Okay, so I fixed the errors. It's just some asset I was experimenting on. So let's hit play and I'll show you what exactly goes on. There is a GUI that's right next to the jet and it is attached to the model so it stays with the jet until it dies actually I should uh, develop it more I should add tanks and stuff I added some music too so as you can see as I press shift the night was come and this is the red waypoint and when I press X the flare goes out and and as you can see there's this missile right here I'll tell you the working of how exactly the you know uh, flares work I created a widget body for the flare it is actually a sphere but it has no mesh render and as soon as we press X a sphere drops from the player's jet and these rockets go towards that and hit it as it falls below the ground it hits the terrain and the rockets explode so that's how exactly it works and I created a GUI for the rockets as well. It shows the distance between uh, the player and the rocket. So basically, it's a simple FSM. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. Actually, there are five FSMs for the missile this one is the GUI one so it says get distance from the player to the owner which is the missile and it converts the float into an int which is an integer we don't want uh, many decimals to be occurring on the screen all the way so I converted that into float I mean a float into an int and then the int to a string 
and I set the property of the GUI which this is to the string so that's that's a basic F, uh, FSM for the missile distance and this right here is the map which is a camera to be correct I placed it here so that we can see the whole uh, map and I set the projection to orthographic and actually this right here viewport wet this it uh, this is the main thing which makes the map work because as you can see as I change the values it changes the position this is this X and Y positions are for the camera and if I do this one by one it centers itself to the camera so actually that's how the unity camera works so I'm gonna show you another thing which is the flares and weapon changing system actually I didn't mean to actually put a gun in there jets don't use guns right I mean that is so funny so actually when I press tab it changes to this one which is the rocket and I'll show you in a bit The GUI doesn't appear in the... Okay, there we go. We can see the GUI now. Let's get rid of the rocket. And yeah. So when I press tab, the, mis the gun changes right here. And after I point it... tank exploded so that's how exactly weapon switching works in this game actually if if you if you want to know more about this please let me know in the comments so that I can make a complete tutorial on how to make this game it is completely simple I mean I used normal FSMs to do this we got like one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 14 FSMs for the player and that is basically I used left and right differently which which actually when we press Q and E if you if you ever played Hawks Tom Clancy's Hawks you can know how exactly the system works I implemented the same uh, input for this except for the camera it kind of uh, shakes like this when the player is moving so that's the only difference of course there are a lot of differences which visually are different what I try to do I try to do it in a more simple way so let's see the crosshair, the crosshair right here I created a canvas which is set in world space and actually you can see that here yeah movable canvas so this one right here it is set to world space and you can take it anywhere depending upon your use so that's basically how it works it is cool to uh, implement something related to the uh, graphic user inter interface uh, if you play the division actually you can see a lot of you know uh, eye-catching GUI and this one right here is the nitro canvas I named it and nitro power that is the number right here and actually what I what I implemented in this is that 
it gets the scale of this night tour bar right here and it reduces it as we use the nitrous so basically that's how it works I'll show you if you didn't uh, observe it as it was shift it goes down 60, 50, 40, 30 yeah so and when I hit the green it refills and goes back to 100 so that's how exactly I implemented this. Uh, there has to be some issue with the color. I should fix that. And there are a lot of updates coming soon for this sort of game. Actually, the score is uh, pretty normal. It, it is the time you stay in the uh, game. You can see that, right? Uh, let me guess. I actually it's all messed up. I created too many. I mean, I made it complicated. Because I wanted to do it fast, I made it complicated. Actually, we can go for the canvas right here and. Actually, the score is being dis displayed right here, so it should be in the Nitro Canvas. Yeah, there we go. Get time info, which means, which uh, allows us to get the time since level load or since startup or anything you might like. So you can store that in a float, and you can convert that into a int. That's not compulsory, but you can uh, do that to simplify bigger decimals into rounded off numbers. So that's the basic FSM. It's so simple. I mean, the whole game is so simple. So another thing for the spawning of these red and green cubes which are triggers as you can see these actually get spawned actually I had to do a little calculation for this you can see that right here random float 43 456 this what exactly this means is that uh, if I change this to 43, 4, ouch, okay, 43 is the minimum for the X, and the minimum for the Z is 38, so I'll put the minimums, and you can see it is the exact starting point of the map, and as I put 456 and 458, it goes to the other end of the map so that's how exactly it works so I'll make that in the same position it was and I did some terrain terrain making it doesn't look that good but I don't know I I finally feel I achieved something when I did this it's kind of weird but I know so we got this tanks. I modeled them. Actually, they're from the Pro Builder models. It was. Uh, it took me an hour to model these. And actually, what I did is I implemented some weapons, which are ex which are not. destroy that freaking missile yeah. so when I press space it shoots the ammo and this is for the rocket there we go an explosion 
right here. Actually, it is fun to play this game, but it lags in Unity. I had to test it every time in the uh, build which I created. So I got this height detection trigger that says you're flying too high, but actually I didn't implement it yet. Oh, yeah. There we go, it, it's got a little red shade, yeah, red transparent. So, what else? I said, when the player dies, restart the level, and this is for the flare pickup, and this is for the night rush pickup. And the main camera is not parented to the uh, jet model, it is actually flying somewhere else yeah right here and I created an FSM which says move towards the player actually it, it got a follow object inside this yeah that is the basic thing so whenever the player moves forward, the camera follows at the same place. So that's how exactly this game works. I'll be uploading this and you can play it. I'll paste the link in the description. Please let me know how, how uh, the game is. And it would be really, really helpful if you suggest me more things to do in this game. So this is Crossfire signing out. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more videos on Playmaker and Unity 3D.